Go ahead. All right, here we go. So okay. I'm with James Barry, JB, and he is a much beloved former uh, bus driver for the Metro uh, bus system in Los Angeles. And when I knew him, it was uh, when he was driving a line from the 180 or 181 between Pasadena and Hollywood every night. Yeah, and Hollywood, I lived yeah. In, I'm sorry? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. And so I, was, I lived in Pasadena. I would go to Hollywood because I was performing stand up a lot. And, and I would ride the bus back late at night with JB. And the thing was that he had like a party on wheels where he would pull up. He'd call ahead of Hooters in Pasadena sometimes sure did. and, have, sure and pull did. up and the waitress would jump on the bus sure and did. give him a bucket of wings and give her $20 <laughs> and they pass the bucket of wings around the bus. Sure and did. then uh, you also pulled over like outside the 7-Eleven in Hollywood and Cuenca and everybody would have 10 minutes to jump off the bus everybody and go get snacks. We yeah. had fun. That's how we did. We had fun. We did, yeah. we did that every night. That was every night. Yeah, and, and it was like also the thing that was cool was that you were very kind. Like most bus drivers, they force you at the end of each end of their line, get off the bus and pay to get back right. on again. Right. And you knew that there were people that were homeless or yeah. just needed somewhere to hang out that's for all, every all. night. Yeah. And you were cool. You, as long as you behaved, you were allowed to stay on the bus all night. Exactly, exactly. But you know what? I had two rules on my bus, you know. Uh, my first rule was don't get no no drama on my bus, okay? I don't want no drama, Yeah. okay? And the second rule that you can't funk up my bus, okay? You can't do that. <laughs> so as long as you pass them two rules, you can guarantee a ride, you know? Because it's like I said, man, if I can help you get from point A to point B with a, without without no drama, then the night is good, right? And in the meantime, we're going to have fun. That's all we did. We had fun going from Pasadena to Hollywood or uh, making four trips. And we have a bunch of characters on the bus, you know. We had a bunch of characters. We took our job seriously, you know, because like, like I said, Tony made up the stories about us. And he also made up the Ten Commandments that we have on the bus that you oh, have really? to obey. Huh. Yeah. This is Ten Commandments of the local 180. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yep. yeah. We're yeah. very serious. We're very serious. You had to obey these Ten Commandments while you're on the local 180 bus. Huh. And we had we had fun. We had fun. We really did. We enjoyed ourselves. Yeah, well, because I mean, uh, you weren't re you weren't really supposed to be so fun, uh, no. according to the Metro rules. So, did you ever get in trouble? Well, no, because you know why? Because uh, I, 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 everybody on my bus, we just had fun, right? And the ones who reported us, they they, they were just. It was just it, it was just forgotten, right? As long as I didn't wreck Metro bus or steal their money, they, they didn't care what I did. I didn't, they didn't care what I did. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, well, so so anyway, so this one night, I'm going to explain this just for the listeners, okay. uh, of the viewers. This one night, uh, <clears throat> I, me and my original co podcasting partners, uh, Jake Belcher, Mike Nagami, and I, mm -hmm. we got the idea to do a test talk show on board of the bus. And mm -hmm. so we took a tape recorder on board the bus and we, we arranged for a couple of comedians to meet us along the way. It was a really planned out thing. We said, okay, you, you comedian one, be at a certain stop by 10.15 so you can jump on the bus. You be at the next one at 10.35. And as they jumped on the bus, that would be their introduction and their, and their interview segment, just like on a talk show. And then we had the whole time three or four friends that were on as our audience members, and they would, right. uh, you know, sit there at the front of the bus with us and applaud or make jokes. And you were like our Paul Schaefer um, <laughs> on David Letterman. You know, he was the band leader that David would right. joke with. Right. And so you were driving, and we kept making uh, jokes with you the whole time. And, the whole um, the whole and what time. was cool was that th th we had a real legitimate crowd of people on the bus some of whom liked it and some of whom were rolling their eyes like what's going on but you know what's crazy is about five six years later uh jimmy kimmel on abc he rented a bus and a city bus mm -hmm. and he put on audience members that he picked and he did the talk show on a bus but that was nothing because 
That was yeah. all planned. Everybody yeah. was, you know, perfect looking. <laughs> yeah. And all that. But see, the our, whole our thing show was, was a real, the, the real color of it all. Right. Well, see, the whole thing with us, man, it, it, nothing was planned, right? Yeah. My people that are the local 180, my people and the, the director residents got on the bus every night. Nothing was planned. The only thing that was playing was we're going to have fun this night, okay? We're going to talk <laughs> about everybody. We're going to joke on everybody, you know? And we're going to have a good time, okay? And I remember when you first got on the bus, man, you sat behind me and went to sleep. And you started <laughs> snoring. I turned around and said, who is that? <laughs> and everybody said, put them off, JP. Put them off the bus. And then you explain your situation, right? After you explain, after you explain this, that you had some kind of uh, chemical imbalance or you know some yeah yeah right? narcolepsy yeah yeah so I said okay man what we gonna do we go, we gonna let him ride man we are gonna let him ride okay so he, he's one of us now so that's how easy it was that's how easy it was you know we had a good time and I'm pretty yeah. sure you had a good time too because like I said you wrote the articles and like I said you wrote the articles about us on the bus and here they are right here this is the first yeah. one that you wrote okay can you see it yeah. And that's yeah. me, and that's Tony at the bottom, and that's uh, yeah. Martin at the bottom, and that's you. You see yourself? You sitting down. Yeah. That's you. Yeah. This is the first article you wrote about us on that bus, man. Night moves, and we had a good time. We yeah. had a good time. <laughs> we All had right. a good time every night. Yeah. All right. H hang on a second. We're right here. Um, I've just paused. Oh, wait, one second. 